Hello, people. This is Miles Level 7 here, back here in our MO7 Productions. And today, you may... My voice just, like, jumped there. Okay. And today, you may notice, this isn't a screen I usually start on very often. And usually, whenever I start on this, I'm starting something new. But no, I'm not exactly starting something new. I'm doing kind of a tutorial and kind of showing y'all something I discovered using a program called World Painter. Now, this right here is a, pro is a world that I made using a world... A program called World Painter over here that you can't see on my desktop that you will get to see in a second. Um, the reason why I'm showing this is because, well, um, yeah, as you can see, this is isn't really kind of a generic basic world. I'm gonna come and look at all this over here. You have some okay jungle trees. You get things like this sometimes. Yeah, see. Well, that's they're probably burned from that lava. Why Java? close and I'm gonna have to shut down the task manager in a bit but um I'm, I'm looking for some better forest there's um really good jungle trees there you could like get really thick jungle trees and um, that's what I'm looking for can't seem to find any hmm. oh well here's a good example right here is that you'll get something like this sometimes so if I would stop recording at one frame per second what's my render distance on tiny why am I getting lag? That was five frames per second. But yeah, you'll get things like this. Um, and yeah. Um, hold on. I'm going to have to open up Task Manager. Or not. Fine. It will speed up whenever I leave the jungle. So, um, whenever I started off this world, I went and saw... I noticed that there was a bonus chest, um, somewhere right here. And, um, this is what I found in it. Yeah. And I'm going to show y'all how, the, how, like, what I did that caused the code to glitch out and give me crap like this. Or hopefully it'll do it again. Um, I haven't tried it again, but it, it worked. Um, also, um, this program, so I was playing around making caves, if I could find the hole that I dug. Apparently I can't find it, so. Just dig straight down. I made it really deep. And I made this cave right here. Um, don't really like this water. Um, gonna try something and see if I can get rid of this water. But if I do that, it will also get rid of the lava. So it's gonna make it not as awesome. Cause water, water and lava makes things awesome. But whenever you have it like this, it's just not that awesome. It really isn't. Here's some nice stalagmites or whatever these are. Some stalactites. I don't know the difference. And this right here is. Uh, intersecting cave that I put glowstone in the roof. Oh, I meant to also put it in the water, but I forgot to. So, as you can see, there's none down here. Still, there's tons of ores. I do have to say that. And yeah, so, um, I'm going to cut this and open up my other recorder and record my whole screen now so you can see how I do this. So, I'll be right back. Okay, um, here I am at my des desktop now. Again, another view y'all never seen. Um, ignore some of the stuff. Well, ignore almost all of this over here. This is kind of just editing thing and things I need to keep like that. It's usually my profile pictures, music's right here, iTunes, all my programs I usually use. Well, this right here is the program I use right here. And this is also where I keep my clips. <laughs> um, ignore some of the other things like these right here. These are just for other things. This is for some for Cassie, and this is just for a song that I'm adding to my phone. <laughs> so here's the loading screen thingy. Hopefully it don't kill my computer when I do this. What? Current mm, version. Uh, uh, I guess. Let's just see how this goes. Come on. It shouldn't take that long. Um, now, whenever making one of these worlds, it does take a very long time to export it. So I'm going to... um. Sure. Oh, so I'm going to, um, what's it called, um, stop recording right before it, um, really, Alex? I'll call you back later. Oh, I'm going to, um, what's it called, um, hey, mm, remember what it's called, I'm going to cut it right before it, um, I'll do, I'll do this in a second. I'm going to cut it right before it finishes, so you can see that it does this, so you know I did not go into the world and that should change anything, because... Obviously, it just isn't going to work either way, but I will be right back. Did it pause? 
Okay, so here we are at the starting screen of World Painter. I don't have a tool selected as far as I know. I shouldn't. Um, make sure it's recording to... Yes, it is. Okay, good. Um, this right here is where you start off with this world no matter what. So let me just create myself a new world. Uh, I'm going to make it small. That right there should be good. Circular world, no. That's block height. I really don't want to change that. Gonna make it hilly, yes. Uh, grass. Hmm. Hmm. I could change this to be almost anything that I want. I'll keep it as grass. Okay. So, um, extended block IDs. I kind of want to know what that is. I really don't know. I want this to be land, or I could have it be ocean. Or land, or ocean. I'm gonna have it be land, obviously. Make it a very small world, so it probably, hopefully, won't take that long. Oh God. Um. So yeah, this right. I know this right here looks really bad. Too. Um. I'm going to work with a few different things. Um. My custom brushes aren't up here, so that's kind of good. Uh. I don't remember what half these tools are anymore. So. <laughs> Hide and raise terrain. So let me do this. Yes. Yep. Flatten out a nice big area. I'm going to spawn, add myself some mountain over here, nice big one, these are actually going to look really bad, yeah, let me, it's a completely different tool, there, let's go to that, look at these, these mountains don't really look very good, none of these mountains really look any good, so, or at least I don't think they do. Do that, kind of make a mountain range. Not really much. I could add a forest. Wait, that's frost. I won't. Where's jungle? Right here. Um, let's make my brush larger. Let me just do this right here. Make it nice and very dense. I could add void over here. Like right here. I could just have a nice big void area. Put resources. Oh, I'll allow my spawn there, and I'm go I'm going to end it with that. Actually, I'm going to populate too. I don't exactly know what populate does, so I'm just going to populate this whole area. Okay, so let's get into making the caverns that I showed you. I have actually not used any of this either. Um, I haven't used this very much at all. Um, Pockets and layers. No, it's caves and tunnels that I'm looking for. Get something like this. Kind of confusing. Um, I've only played with the f um, fixed level. Fixed death is pretty good. Um, other things. So this is the ceiling. Let me. It's funny. Okay, so you raise the smoothness, then you raise the roughness. Some, um, then you raise the smoothness again, and it makes it really rough. And you get nice big stalactites. I'm not going to change that very much. Hopefully, it will look better. It's like I said, I haven't really played with this much. Um. Let's change the smoothness, roughness up to one. So I really don't know how to do this very well. Like I said, I really haven't played with anything. Move water and lava. I do want to do that. My walls, bottom width. I'm not gonna mess with those because, well, apparently if you mess with them um too much, it um really messes things up. Um, let me make this lower. Where's the floor? Floor level, because I don't want it to be at sea level, so I could go down a lot. Now the ceiling level, it will go. Let's have it go there. Hopefully, I'll find some surface entrances like that. Um, I could add custom things somewhere. <laughs> it's it has been like a week since I've done anything with this. I could choose different colors from all these. I'm just going to make this one red and push OK. Don't remember how to add custom materials right there. Psh. Click to select materials and ceiling. Uh actually no, let's do it. let's do it in ceiling. Let me find glowstone. Should be way down here somewhere. Redstone repeaters really? One glass panel, melon stem, fence gate, cauldron, and portal. 
portal. Frame dragon eggs. Oh my god, there's a lot more than what I thought there was. Beacons, okay. And these are like numbers that aren't even in use. Wow. Could you please go there? So, looking for glowstone. Why is 36 not even used? My voice just keeps going up and down today. I don't really know why. It's ironic that I'm 18 and yet my voice is still giving me problems like that. Probably because there's something stuck in my voice. Glowstone ore. No, glowing redstone ore. Never mind. Darn it. Button D. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Y'all have probably seen it, but I haven't yet, so. Oh my god. Look up item IDs. Right here. Come on. I'm so lonely. I have no body. Why am I looking it up here? I have my phone to look it up from. So why am I doing this? Oh, well, I don't care. So, since I've already got the save, I might as well just use it. Uh, if I could figure out how to use this. Just, can I pull this up? No. Fine then. Um, and I actually kind of also realized I kind of need this one to also be stone and then add a material, which this one needs to be glowstone. Which I should be able to find. Okay, give me a second. Let me open up my phone. Find the item ID. Data value. Start. Okay, so. Hurry up, app. Please. Go faster before I throw stuff at you. Nether right here. Glowstone is 89. This is... Ouch. 89 and... Should set. Didn't set. 89. Oh, well, I at least know where to find it on here now. Because that would... That kind of... Really? Ah, I scrolled off of it. 89, right there. Glowstone block, exactly what I want. Uh, maybe add some diamonds. Um, add material. Um, I don't know what the ID for diamonds are now. <laughs> it's 56. Diamond ore, there. Okay, so that's good for the um, ceiling. So now let's get into the floors. Let's add some materials. Of course, it's got to be stone. Of course, I forgot to change some of the materials up there, some of the occurrences. So let, let's just come up with a completely random one. Uh, I say burning wood. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Right, so limbs on there. No. That probably wouldn't be that awesome. Potatoes, no. Tra chest, no. I'm just going to leave that like that. <laughs> just cancel that. I'll let that go naturally. Um, let me go and open this now, and let me change the occurrences of diamond ore. Apparently, I can't just change it like that. I'll leave that like that. Okay. And that right there is going to be red, so... Let's go and let's paint this one. Don't know what that means. Okay, so that's what that means. Okay. Uh, control Z to undo that. Um, let me choose a more defined one, I guess. Let's make a nice big area right here. As you know, kind of do this actually. Nice big curving one, just like that. No, that's yeah. That's kind of really big. So let's actually make that smaller. Make sure it goes right under my spawn points, which I can move with this program too. So there. And now let's make another one, and I'll make one like that. Um, the flooded one. 
So the floor, let's make this one really far down. There. Make the ceiling really far down. There. Now let's flood tunnels with water. As soon as it gets there. That's kind of not what I want. It's about halfway. Um, let me do ceiling. Uh, change the roughness and all that if I could find it. Here, roughness. Should be only. Yeah, let me like that. I I, I don't. I, I know if you do it too, what you kind of does really mess with it. Now let's add glowstone again. Uh, material glowstone is 89. If I'm correct, glowstone block. Let's make that about like 200 maybe. Out, dry hit my hand. Okay, and now let's go down to the floor, which is right here. Don't really think that's actually doing anything, but okay. Um, let's just add also glowstone to the bottom of that. First, I need stone, of course, then add material, because if I don't do add material, we don't get glowstone. Or we won't get stone, we'll just have glowstone everywhere. I've already passed it. Glowstone block, let's make this one about right there. Let's change this color to be. Let's make it a blue. Hate how that goes way down there. And let's just like make this a nice and large area. Let's just like that. There. Just like that one right there. There. Okay, so let me turn that off. Okay. So, as you can see, I've now got all of this really complicated stuff up here. Um, let's not really kind of look at all this. Um, there is one other thing I do want to show you. If you click on View, you have a Show 3D View, where I could actually see what the world looks like. Um, kind of. You can't really zoom in any. can't move it. Well, if it's if it's larger than the screen, you can, but right like this, you can. You can see where the tunnels are, all that. You can see what you've done. You can see an idea of what the mountains will look like. You can tell they look really bad. So let me just save this. Save world. Um, going to the wrong one. Export. That's what I want. Export's new Minecraft map. Uh, I don't want it to be named Generate World. Let's do this. Video World. Nope. Cancel. Yes, I would like. To, ah, why did you do that? Export. Export is new Minecraft world. Do. Yo, world. Uh, let me just make sure everything here is normal. Underground material, resources, everywhere. Let's not really mess with any of that. General, now let's just export. Now, um, I'm going to see how long this is going to want to take, and then I'm going to end up cutting it, possibly. Let's just... Can I cut this? Doesn't look like it's going to actually take that long. I'm just going to let it run its course. It would go away now. Okay, so obviously one is doing this. It's obviously killing my computer. I don't know if you could hear it, but it's going... Yep, there goes the dings, finally, after all that time. You could also see, I couldn't select Nether and End, either, I don't think. I don't think that was anything, so... I don't even know how to work with them yet, so... <laughs> I'm still learning a program, yeah. So, there should obviously be a bonus chest in this world. Um, Since I didn't change anything, there's no borders. I just now realized that. So, no borders to this world. I guess whenever I go off, it'll just be water. Um, I could also just make it lava, or I could just make it void. I probably I should really look into the exporting settings a little bit more. I should look into all of this stuff a little bit more. Structures are even on. Um, I could even change the map format. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, I could I could turn allow cheats on down there. Darn it. Oh well. well world's been exported. Let's close this. Do you want to say? Do you want to save the world? Um. I just said no to that. Oh well, it should be exported. Let's go check my shortcut. 
Minecraft folder thingy where it just takes me to my Minecraft folder, saves it right here, and the world test right here. No, video world right here. Um, oh, oh, which one is it? Assuming it's this one, but I'm going to keep them both for now. So um, I'm going to have to stop with this recorder, then relaunch Minecraft and open up Fraps again so you can actually see what's going on. So, stop. No, okay, now it says it's recording. Okay, so just got to this title screen. Um, Don't know if it recorded the very first part where it was on the Mojang screen, but yeah. Yeah, let's go see it. Ooh, um, hmm. Let's look at this one first, see if what this one does. See if it does anything. See if it crashes me. Crash me. Crash me. Crash me. I don't even know what the um seed to this world is, so. <laughs> huh. Um it's doing something. Yep, as you can see this is not the world that I built, so I I always start off in these worlds for whatever reason. So this ain't the right world. Let's go back here. Let's look for the one that. <laughs> no, I think it's this one. Let's find out. I don't really know, but we'll find out some way or another. I mean, my one friends per second. God, my sister's making lots of noise in there. Okay, so here you go. Um, Nice, beautiful, ugly world. Um, as you can see, I'm not in servo I mean, creative, and I can't really. Ju okay, I'm gonna show this because I didn't change it earlier. So, mode one. Not don't have permission to that command. So if I open it to land though and allow cheats and make it creative, that was not what I meant to push. I can now do that. So game mode one, and now I am creative, and I could fly. So. Here's the bonus chests, and it did it again. Yes, thank you. Yes, it didn't fail me. I actually think this is the exact same order. Actually, it's what it looks like. <laughs> um, I don't know. I I'll look at that, but it looks like the exact same order to me. Maybe it is. Maybe it's something that the program actually just does. Um, watch out here, cause this is the void. It's where that void is that I made, where. A cave apparently cut all the way through it. And I guess I'm just gonna enter my cave from here. So it looks like there is still there is some water and lava. Is there a diamond up here? Oh yes there is. There's lots of it. This would be a wonderful place to build in. So um I, I like how this looks a lot better. It's not quite as wide, it's kind of a narrow cave, kinda like I want it. I could just find my way around now. We've still got water and lava in it, so that that's a nice thing. It's kind of what I want it. Um, <laughs> can't find nothing. Ah, here it is. Maybe, hopefully. Update lava. Thank you. I hate how lava doesn't update. So you probably can't really see anything much, but motherfucker. Is this really where I crossed it? No. Just do that. And dig straight down. It is. Wow. Okay. So it's branches off here. That's what it looks like. No. Crap, where was it? Where was the giant water cave? You, you obviously see this. Y'all could easily see this. Should have had the other filter on so I could make sure that I wasn't crossing it at the void spot. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna have to remember where it was. It was at one of the things. It was, I think, at the opposite side from the void. Um, let's go in. Well, I think I now know what populate actually means. It probably just means like put grass and sheep and all that. Because the last one didn't have all that. So these right here are the mountains I made with one of the brushes. You can see they're not really good. They're kind of, yeah, kind of crap. Here's where the where the world generates properly. That just starts generating right there. The village that's gone missing. That's awesome. Nice jungle and I don't even know what that's doing. It's like a mix of 
jungle and oak forest. That's what that is. Is that clay? Is that clay? Please, just fly down. It is. It's clay. Oh my god, clay. Did I really just find clay? Here's another one of those mountains. It's, like I said, crap. Here's the... This should be the large circle mountain over here somewhere. No, but we do have a extreme hills generating properly. There's that corner. Where did I put the actual mountain mountain? Oh, here's the jungle biome that I told to make. And hopefully it became wonderful, like most of them usually have. This one doesn't look as wonderful. That tree looks giant, like that one right there. No, it's just multiple trees. This one's not good. What the crap. Ah, there it is, right there. Here's some, like, branching out roots, kind of. It's more like, here's the real mountain. Yay me. So, yet, you, like I said, you could see it's not really good looking. It's, um, if you watch Shin make something with this, he makes it good. Me, on the other hand, no. Uh, Mine's just kind of crap with that gravel. Yeah. Yeah, mine's not really as good. I'm still learning. That's no? No, it's not. So, um... That's the void. Maybe it formed under here. I know I did it somewhere. Come on. Nope, oh, fly up. Don't want to go down there. Okay, so, um... Psh, well, fuck me. If I, I really can't find the other cave. Really? Okay, I know the other cave intercepts it with part of... When it, with part of, the cave, of a cave over here. Somewhere. So I could probably just dig down from the ends somewhere and find it. Cause here's the loop thing right here. I think it may have intercepted with the loop. Nope. Go up. Up. I feel ashamed. Uh, if am I really not going to be able to find this cave? I'm probably not. Tell the truth. Intercept it somewhere. Wait, here it is, right here. So, yep. See, yep. I wasn't doing anything with the bottom. It didn't do anything with it. And so, yeah, I didn't make this really tall. Um, glowstone is probably a little obsessive. Not really many ores down here either. Hmm. Well, that's why I didn't. There's like bedrock right under it. Okay. Well, so yeah, this is the cave. Everything else. And this is World Painter. And now, goodbye. Whee!